Hey guys, believe it's uh, 11 27 2021. Oh, it's almost December. Can you believe it? I'm so broke, it's just not even funny, <laughs> you know. But anyway, um, besides that, I want to talk about the program a little bit. I want to talk about uh, uh, what did they try to do? What, 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 what are one of the things they try to do to us all the time is to get reactions out of us, you know, get reactions. And I want to tell you how evil this program is. These people are pure evil. They can do reactions in all kinds of different ways, but they choose to do reactions in the most evil way there is. You know? So, I mean, if you have pets, they will hurt your pets for reactions. You know? I think they gave Cody a, a seizure about a month ago, three weeks ago, um, because he went to the vet, they did blood work. They said, I don't know why he had a seizure. Uh, his blood work and everything was normal. Um, he had a seizure for, um, I don't know what it was, three or four or five minutes. Um, and, uh, you know, so why did they do that? Why did they give him a seizure for reactions, responses, reactions out of you? Now, do they have to do that? Do they have to go to that... Um, do they have to go and do it to that extreme to get reactions out of us? Of course not. They don't have to do that. You know, um, they know everything about us. They know what we like. They know what we don't like. They know the girls we like. They know the cars we like. They know um, whatever we're into. Uh, if you're into video games, if you're into cars, if you're into whatever you're into, volleyball, <laughs> whatever you're into, all right. Um, so, but they, but they, but they're, but they're evil, you guys. Uh, they do the most evil things to get reactions out of us. You know, uh, you know, some TIs, they, they really, uh, you know, like Brian too, gets punched in the face a lot. You know, uh, you know, do they have to do that? Do they really have to do that? You know, do they have to hurt us and, and beat us up and, and all this stuff for reactions? You know, do they have to give my, do they have to torture my dog to get reactions? Of course not. They know what I like. They know what I like. They could have nice cars driving by, hot rods. And that'll get the same reaction as them torturing my dog. Maybe not the same, exact same reaction, but it will get a response out of me, you know? So, I mean, why do they have to bring up all these different um, feelings out? You know, like when I, when I was in the fake treatment center, well, I, okay, well, they, they sent me... After the psych ward, they sent me to another place for a week. They shut the place down, you guys. I, I swear to God. All perps there. And they had the staff in, involved. Um, these guys were really against me going through that at that place. They didn't want any part of this stuff. But they sent me up there for a week uh, before I went to the treatment center. And it was kind of a check-in place, check-in, check-out, because I couldn't check out because I was on commitment. So I had to stay there, you know, and, but they would do things. They would, they would have the nurses go, oh, you know, oh, like that, you know, when they were giving me my medications, um, trying to scare me, get a response out of me, you know. Um, like I say, these people did not want to be a part of this. Um, the director was a, well, she was not there all week long. She was not there, and there was another lady there. She was kind of like a director assistant or something. She was not there either. She, they did not want any part of me getting harassed and all the stuff while I was there. They had no, they, had, they didn't want any part of it, you guys. But uh, well, also, I'm saying is is that. I think they can do this without causing trauma, is what I'm saying. Um, why can't they do this without causing trauma? Why do they have to cause trauma, you know, and, and, and hurt our pets? You know, hurt our pets and torture our pets so 
it's noticeable so we know what's going on. Why do they have to do that? Why can't they have a pretty woman walking outside or have a fast car or, uh, you know, or a hot rod or whatever you're into, you know, fishing, boating, whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know, they know us and they know what we like and they know what we don't like. Why can't they make, make it, why does it have to be trauma based? You know, can't they get the same reactions out of us without causing trauma? Can't they do the same thing? Can't they still map your brain out without causing trauma all the time? Why do they have to hurt our family members or our pets? You know, I know it's because it's trauma-based mind control, but why can't they do that without doing it, without causing trauma, you know? and get reactions out of you, you know? And they do street theater to bring out all kinds of reactions out of you. Um, they do all kinds of things to get responses and reactions out of us. But this program is pure evil, you guys. They, I mean, they, they call us child molesters and all this stuff um, for multiple reasons to get reactions out of us and to smear our name all over the place. So people think we're that, you know. But, I mean, you know, I think people are smarter than that, um, especially me because I lived in this neighborhood a long time. A lot of these neighbors know me. Uh, there's a lot of new neighbors I think are perps. But um, so I think the neighbors are smarter than that. Um, you know, the way I see it is if I'm such a damn child molester, take your kids and move. Take them and move. You know, I'm such a bad guy, you know, I mean, you know, but they have kids around us, they use kids to tor um, to torment us, and, and, and they'll get, they'll get kids involved, you know, to, to do part of skits and stuff, you know, but, so, are they really saying that about us? I don't know if they're really saying that about us, you know, um, if we were really a predator and a real bad guy and all this stuff, then take your kids and get the hell out of here. You know, that's the way I see it, you know, but they have kids and they, and they get them involved and all this stuff. Well, maybe they're not saying that about us at all. Maybe they're saying something else, you know, maybe they know something, but I, maybe they're not told anything. I don't know, but they do do, you know, I mean, they get, you know, I mean, they do all kinds of things to get reactions out of us. I think it's pure evil and I don't think they need to do that. I don't think... I think they can get the same results if they don't cause trauma. My internet's out. Um, I'm going to have to go fix that. Um, so, that's all I'm saying. I'm saying, why do they have to cause so much trouble? Because these people are evil, you guys. They want the worst for us. They want to see us in pain. I went to the dentist, and when they give you... Um, Novocaine, they kind of flap your gum here so it doesn't hurt as bad when they give you Novocaine. I went to the dentist and, and um, they got him involved. And he was validating the technology the whole time. Um, they had him give me straight Novocaine right in there, right in the gum so it hurt, you know. Um, and he was validating. These people want to see us in pain, physical pain, you guys. You know, they make me have diarrhea so bad sometimes. My ass is so sore. I mean, it's unreal. They want to see me in pain. They want to see me hurt. They would love for something to happen to me. You know? That's how evil they are. And I think there's people out there, I think there is bigger people out there that don't let that happen. You know? Um, that's the way I think. Anyway, that's what I'm talking about tonight. So, does it have to be this evil? I don't think so. I think they can get the same results by not being evil. Um, you know, like I say, using pretty girls and hot rods and whatever you're into. You know, um, why can't they do that? You know what I mean? Um, so, anyway, uh, not much going on. I got tortured at 5.30 in the morning until about 10 o'clock in the morning. Four or five hours. Um... Same thing every day, man. I'm telling you, I'm getting sick of it. I'm getting sick of it. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if I end up in the hospital um, sometime next week. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna call my doctor. I'm gonna call my doctor. I'll play the game and I'm gonna call my doctor and see if um if they can give me anything for itching. I'll just tell my feet itch like crazy and I'm gonna tell them I'm gonna say, Well, I think it's weapons. I don't think it's anything else. There's no way I could have so many medical problems. So I'm gonna see if I can get something for feet itching uh through my doctor, you know, and see if there's anything. Um, and we'll see how that works out, but, um, it's, you know, I can't keep on running to the doctor and they got, I, I'm on, well, I'm not on a lot of medication, but I'm on a few pills. I don't need them. You know, I don't need them. There's nothing wrong with me, you know, and I'm running to the doctor. How could I, it, how could somebody have this many medical problems? I mean, it's all induced by these guys. So anyway, um, I suppose I'll cut this off. Um, so you guys have a good night. I'll talk to you later, and um, enjoy your Saturday night. Try to relax a little bit. Have a glass of wine or do something, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.